Another method of making this loft might be using the construction lines that you already made and then remember how we did the split and trim and all that stuff? You could do that with the line as well. So if I say uh, trim, T trim, if I select this line, I could trim that off or trim that off, right? Or, um, and that trim is, again, one of these things. Oh, trim. You could also, there's another command called fillet, F-I-L-L, E T and let me see where that is in in the other parts in the toolbars it's in the curve tool curve tool and it looks like this thing right there so that's the fillet tool or in the pull down menu it's in the curve under fillet curve so fillet curve but for this one, for me, it, the easiest way to the easiest way to get that uh, command is fillet. First time you use the fillet command, the radius is defaulted at one, which should be the unit default of one inch, or it could be one foot. What I want to do is to change that to zero, so that I will have a sharp corner instead of it filleting at a round corner. Okay, so zero is the fillet radius. Do I want to join it? Um, I could, but this time I'll, I'll say no. Trim, yes. And extend by arc, that doesn't matter. Okay, so if I select this line and this line, it takes care of that trimming process. So if I select this line and, oops, enter to bring back the command, Notice that the radius is at zero. Select that line and that line. Whoops. Radius, select that line and that line. Oh, I already trimmed that. That isn't trimming. So that one and that one, and that would trim. So if I go to this one, trim, and then I could do a trim command. And if I select everything, right, and enter, then that means I could click on any point that any of those have touched, any of it that's highlighted. So once again, you can control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z. Let's say I wanted to trim everything. If I trim everything, then I'm gonna trim this piece, I'm gonna trim that piece, I'm gonna trim this piece, trim that piece, trim that piece. That might be a lot of work. I mean, it will work, but that is a lot of work. So, you know, some of the commands are better as trim. Some of the command, some of the editing would be better off as a fillet command, because you only have to pick, select two lines. Or, if you trim, if you select certain, just certain objects, then you could just use those as the cutting edges. Okay, so. Control Z, Control Z. So if I say trim and just select these guys right here, and in the order of where I select these, which side I want to cut off, I should be able to get all of that done. Whoops, that's an extra piece. Okay, so that is taking the construction line and trimming off all the extra pieces. That way you could run lines long and then edit them out. Okay, so after that, I can go ahead and join this thing. Join. And then it is all one piece now. Remember in the trim command, there or the fillet command, there was join pieces and I said no. If I had said yes, it would have joined it for me. Okay. Um, but here, now I can go ahead and do the same solid command and go to extrude planar curve straight up and then enter and then go ahead and go to um, nine inches and that have that made that another exact same thing. That original construction line that I made um, will remain there. This thing was drawn in 
the loft layer so it just it was it's already in the loft layer so I don't have to worry about that okay